Hey, welcome friends once again to another problem solving session on arithmetic progression. In this question, we have a different variety of uh, problems. So problem says that is 184 a term of the sequence 3711 dot dot dot. So basically they are asking us to find out whether 184 belongs to this sequence, right? So somewhere here 184 is there. Is this so? Is this so? That's the question. How to find out? So we will start with the assumption that uh, 184 is, you know, is a part of the sequence. So we'll start with this assumption, right? So let 184, 184 uh, belong to, belong to the given AP. Okay. This is an AP for sure because consecutive terms have the same difference. That is four. You can see that. Let 184 belong to the given AP, right? And it is at nth position. Okay, at nth position. That means we are saying Tn is 184. Tn is 184. And what do I know about uh, the you know sequence and this relationship between this? Um, you know, uh, nth term and the n. So we know that Tn is equal to T1 plus n minus 1d. Okay. In this case, T1 clearly is 3. No doubts about it. D will be equal to 7 minus 3 or 11 minus 7, whichever way, which is 4. D is 4. So that means Tn is equal to 184 must be equal to 3 plus n minus 1 times 4. Isn't it? This is what, if it, if at all 184 is in the sequence, it should obey this rule. So hence there must be an n about uh, n for it. So 184 minus 3 divided by 4 is n minus 1. Isn't it? That means n is equal to 181 by 4 plus 1. That is 185 by 4. Correct? Which is not an integer. Yeah, not an integer. Right. So, but we know that if if 184 exists at nth position, so n must be an integer. Hence, hence we conclude what 184 184 doesn't doesn't does not that is belong to the given AP to the given AP. Right. So, what is the learning, guys? So if someone is asking you to find out whether a particular term is part of a given AP or not, then try to show that it exists at an nth position and try to find out n from the given conditions and the data. If n happens to be an integer, positive non-zero, positive integer that is, then uh, uh, that particular term definitely belongs to the AP, otherwise not. Right? So this is how you can solve this problem.